Welcome to Municipal Affairs. I'm Christopher Brown. Over the last two weeks, our team has been traveling across Saskatchewan in preparation for our live Saskatchewan Provincial Election Night special exclusively on the Cross Border Network YouTube channel. During our journey, we connected with mayors, councillors, and other key stakeholders to understand this election and how it will shape the future of municipalities in the province. And as the Saskatchewan election continues to unfold, you will certainly need to stay in looped and informed with the Scoop Political Briefing newsletter. It is your go-to source for daily updates on the biggest stories, party strategies, and yes, even candidate advertising. I certainly took advantage of it during our Cross Saskatchewan tour these last two weeks. So sign up for free at thescoop.ca. That's the S-K-O-O-P dot C-A. And get your essential insights delivered directly to your inbox. Today, we are joined by Kipling, Saskatchewan Mayor Pat Jackson, who will share her unique perspectives on the election and its significance for her community and municipalities across the province. Attention, Saskatchewan. This election season, Municipal Affairs is hitting the road in partnership with SUMA for the Saskatchewan Provincial Election. Join us on election night for live coverage straight from Regina on YouTube featuring exclusive insights from municipal leaders and stakeholders across the province. We will be capturing their reaction to the results and be diving into what the new provincial government means for municipalities. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan to hear directly from local leaders about the issues that matter most to you. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan starting September 30th to hear directly from local leaders like yourself about the issues that matter most. This is your election covered like never before. Municipal Affairs, your trusted voice from the grassroots to the government. Uh, mayor Jackson, thank you so much for doing this. There is a provincial election going on. You are the mayor uh, acclaimed for another term uh, of the great town of Kipling. What are you looking for from the party leaders to address in the last two weeks of this campaign? Mostly, I want to see accountability and working on health care. Health care is not supposed to be a municipal responsibility, but it is coming that way more and more with downloading and it's not something that we that we can afford that most communities can afford so we, i know we are in the mid, midst of the halfway point of this election but have you heard anything from either premier scott mo or carla beck leader of the official opposition to give you hope that this will be addressed if they are successful in their re-election or election bid i listened to the uh gathering that suma put on earlier this week both of the people who spoke, one for each of the two major parties in the province, and they, all, they both said the right things. Now it's going to be a matter of seeing whether, whether they follow through. Here in this, we are now in Cannington, uh, first, first time in the Cannington constituency, and I, I expect that the incumbent will will get in. Daryl Harrison has uh, deep roots in the area, but Saskatchewan Party will will very likely take it. It's you know it's it's the nature of the of all the people in in this area. I think. So on that note, um, let's talk about the local race for a second. You, you kind of just uh, gave your hand there, saying that you think it's going to be one party who's going to potentially win this riding. But what are you looking for from your next MLA, whether it be the Saskatchewan Party with the Harrison, or with it, whether it be and the Saskatchewan United Party, or even Saskatchewan NDP? What are you? Yes, or even the Green. Who knows, yes. right? Independent. Who, what are you specifically looking for from a local angle? Healthcare is a very macro issue, but what could the next MLA help Kipling get? Okay, macro issue, I agree, but also micro. Uh, keeping physicians here is, it's 
a bit of a difficulty. We've we've been very fortunate. The last uh, go round, we had two who stayed for five years instead of their three, and another one left at the end of three. And now we're back into the cycle of getting new physicians. For me personally, after having had the last several years when the MLA for our region was pretty much impossible to get to talk to, I am heartened that one at least, I know if I pick up the phone and call him, I will get a call back, usually within 15 minutes, but you know, even if he's, even if he's in, in session, I know I will get uh, something back from him. Uh, and that's, that's so valuable because sometimes it's not even a matter of wanting them to do something as much as needing to know, who do I call? Who can I contact about this issue? And not having someone available is, makes things very difficult. We are coming down to the wire. Advanced voting starts here soon. And then election day is on the October 28th. What's the one thing you want your residents of Kipling, but also residents across Saskatchewan to do before they go into that ballot box and cast that X beside whatever candidate yes. they're going to be supporting? What's the one thing you hope they pause and take a moment and think about before casting that ballot? I hope that they have been reading, not that we've had a lot of material out, and listening if they happen to be among the few that have had somebody come to their door. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I was really quite pleased because I belong to STS, uh, Superannuated Teachers of Saskatchewan, and we got a pamphlet that outlined about five different topics and the, the things that we as seniors need to be looking at. Now, our town is not all seniors. We've got about a third, a third, a third, which is really a good split. Uh, but we all need to we all need to be aware of what the issues are and find out what people actually say they're going to do. Beyond that we beyond that we have to just hope and say a prayer or two that what they say they're going to do is what they actually come through with. And final question for you before I let you go here, and that is what do you hope priority one is for the next government from a municipal standpoint? What is the priority one? Because you talk about collaboration, you talk about communication. What's priority one that you're hoping that either Scott Moe or Carla Beck does day one? This, well, I don't know if it'll be day one, but I certainly would like to see it happen within the first hundred days. And this sounds like a really weird thing, but they took the, uh, PST exemption off for municipalities. Every project that we do, we, if we get a grant, we're not getting a full grant because we have to take that 6% and turn it back to the province. The federal government does not do that. If we pay GST on supplies for a project, that money comes back to us. So it's, a, it's an out and then an in. But uh, PST, it's become a killer. It's meant that some projects in many communities have either had to be downsized or scrapped. So it's huge. Pat, Mayor Jackson, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to do this. It's always a pleasure to be in Kipling in front of the big giant red paper clip and hopefully people come and see it. I certainly hope they do. I, it's it's something that we know we get lots of people coming to see and then they turn around and you can't the camera isn't picking it up but we have a memorial lion across there that was put up for uh, by by the parents of a, a youngster who died of cancer a number of years ago and the people just love that as well you know it's just it, it's it's a nice place to be Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. We just want to take a moment and ask you to do one quick favor for us. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You will not want to miss the upcoming episodes around the Saskatchewan election, but also you will not want to miss our special election night special live from downtown Regina, where we will be discussing how this election 
will impact the municipal landscape over the next four years. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on audio, head over to our YouTube channel, Cross Border Interviews or Cross Border Networks, and subscribe today. And if you haven't already, be sure to head over to the scoop.ca and get that insightful newsletter delivered directly to you every weekday directly to your inbox. I use it as a resource when I was traveling across the province of Saskatchewan, and it is a resource that you surely will want to have. And your support has been wonderful over the last few weeks and over the last few months and even last few years. So we truly appreciate you taking time and watching and listening to all these great episodes and great interviews that we've been putting out. So stay connected, stay informed, and we'll see you next time here on Municipal Affairs.